live in just a couple of seconds. Okay. That's good. That's good. We'll shadow back there. <laughs> Okay, and we are live. Oh, wow. Okay. That's good. Let me um, mute the, the sound over here. Hello, everyone. And we're going to give you just a couple minutes to jump on and join us. And um, I love the way that technology works, Thesha, because uh, we're, we're live streaming. We're broadcasting. Hey, everybody. Thanks for jumping on. We're broadcasting from my mm. personal profile. It's also going into seven groups and um, LinkedIn, Twitter, and we're also going to put the replay on YouTube. Okay. So technology allows us to do some really cool and interesting things. We're giving folks a minute to jump on and join us okay. on, on, on board. Welcome. We're going to get started in just a minute. I'm looking it up. Make sure I'm not leaving anybody else who might want to join us out. Hey, everyone, come on over. Come on in and join us. Let us know that you're there. We're going to get started in just a minute. Hey, Arlette, glad to see you. Glad you are here. Go ahead and share the video. Share the video. Um, I see people are sharing the video. Thank you so much. Continue to share the video. Share the video. Wasn't that a cool post? about the, the light at the end of the tunnel? Alicia? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. You, you're reading your phone. Is that, is that the post that you were looking at that you like about light in the end of the tunnel? Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm trying oh, to... I thought that it. was awesome. Yeah. I love that. I was like, yes. I'm trying to share it and I, I don't see... How oh, you to... have to download it to share it because... Um, oh, okay. It's, in group. it's not public, so it's, it's not... Share oh, okay. in that group. So you have to download it to share it. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I see people are jumping on. Good evening and happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Wendy Y. Bailey, your Income Acceleration Mentor. And uh, I'm also the conference host for Play Bigger Now 2017. You can find out all the details at playbiggernow2017.com. Uh, you know, I've been thinking and I wanted to do a little bit of, hey, Barbara Faison, I see you have jumped on. Be sure to share the video, you guys who are jumping on in the comments. Let us know you're there. But I decided I wanted to have a dialogue about uh, business. And I wanted to look at it in sort of a different way than we typically as entrepreneurs and coaches and speakers and trainers look at our businesses. And that is, what do we do when we think about expansion? And so the, the natural coaching question that comes to mind is, what's the best possible outcome for you in your business? Then the follow-up question to that is, what else is possible? So I asked the, the folks who are playing with me as part of Play Bigger Now 2017 to join me in this dialogue. And I'm so delighted that Thesha Jenkins has decided to jump on and join us. Uh, Thesha, I'm going to give you just a minute to introduce yourself and, and tell folks about you and what you're going to be bringing to Play Bigger Now, and then we can jump into the conversation. If you're here and you're, you're joining us and you're on the comments, be sure to let us know that you're here. Say hello. Hey, Dorothy Ward, glad you could join us this evening. Be sure to post your questions in the comments and share the video, share the video, share the video. So, Thesha, go ahead and introduce yourself and, and talk to us about what you're going to be doing for Play Bigger Now 2017, and we'll jump into our dialogue. Okay, well, thank you, Wendy. Why? Well, Thesha Jenkins, and I will be one of the digital presenters, and my topic is on leadership. And speaking about leadership, utilizing emotional intelligence, emotional intelligence. Uh, what I've found uh, for about the last 10 years, I have been doing leadership training. I have experience as a human resource director. And what I have found so many times when individuals are in leadership or even having their own business is that that ability to connect. And so when talking about emotional intelligence is really number one, mastering yourself and then being able to master the ability to connect with other people. And many times that's done through the nonverbals, uh, because I like to say that it's not what was said verbally, but what was not said. Yeah. In fact, I just did a mediation recently, and it was a 
supervisor and a employee that had been at odds for the last six months. And within an hour and a half, they were able to bridge that gap. Why? Being able to have an understanding of what was going on with them, how they best communicated, and more importantly, how to communicate with the other person. So six months of not talking, six months of discourse, but wow. within an hour and a half came together, literally hugged and said, why did we do this earlier? Why? Because they had not had the ability to master their emotions. Yeah. So bringing to the table, talking about leadership, having a true understanding of yourself and being able to connect with those that you are leading. Awesome, awesome. I'm so excited about your, your presentation, Thesha, because you're right. It's it's not what you say, it's what, how did you say it? It's not what you say, it's what you don't say. Exactly, yeah. it's those it, unsaid it, things. Yeah, and the unsaid things in the wake of um, body language, in the wake of um, you know how you say things as well, all of that right. kind of stuff. I tell my son, who's highly emotional, let me just say that, but I tell my son all the time that it's not always what you say, but how you say it. Exactly. So sometimes you have to really manage, not sometimes, all the time when you manage your own emotions around something, then right. you can communicate that much more effectively. The other thing that I, I love about what you're talking about, that, that sort of an underlying undercurrent to emotional intelligence is it requires a whole different level of listening skills as well. Yes. So, so what you're going to be bringing is really, really exciting, Thesha, and I'm, I'm really delighted and honored that you're part of Play Bigger Now 2017. So let's jump into this dialogue, shall we? Yes. <laughs> what do you think most entrepreneurs are, are doing and saying and feeling and thinking when they're in the throes, in the thick of running their businesses, when they're asked the question like, what's the best possible outcome in your business? What, what do you think that question does for them? Uh, you, you know, it, it, it sounds like such a huge question, but I know it's often underlooked. You know, people don't look at it. People don't see it. Entrepreneurs don't pay attention to the question. So it kind of is awkward. You know, it's a difficult question. Tell me your thoughts, Thesha. Well, <laughs> You're exactly I right. I got a lot to say about that. <laughs> I'm feeling awkward now. That is a good question, Wendy. Why it really is? What is the outcome of your business? And so I'm going to have to stop and ponder that. What's the outcome of my business? And I actually just was having a conversation with a, a, a good friend of mine, uh, talking along the lines of ministry, and. I was talking about the importance of, because my background is working with uh, survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault. Mm -hmm. and I've spent a lot of time in the nonprofit arena. And so to direct, so to answer, talking about that question, the outcome, for me, the outcome of whether I'm working in victim services or working with entrepreneurs, working with leaders is that I want people to be successful. And that success depends so much on people's ability to really get to know themselves. So the outcome of my business long-term is that I have the opportunity to partner with individuals and organizations so that what, there can be a level of self-awareness so that people can truly um, achieve their goals. And I know that that, that that seems kind of cliche. However, I'll tell you, just even in doing a VIP session uh, two weeks ago, you know, I spent three hours with the young lady and you know, at the end of the three hours, you know, just asking her questions about what was really her purpose, things that she was passionate about. She said, you know, I never really thought about it. And that's the reality is so many times people have not had that time to do introspection. And so the outcome of my work is that people get to know themselves. I don't think you ever totally know yourself, but just yeah. beginning that dialogue and saying, what is it that I want? What did I do well today? What could I have done better today? We get so caught up in the day-to-day -day stuff that we don't take time to sit back and go, <sighs> yeah, and that's, and the, outcome. that's and the outcome of what I want my business to do is having people who are not so wound up emotionally and just trying to tread water, mm -hmm. but actually taking the time mm -hmm. to stop and say, is this the best decision now? And being able to even look at their accomplishments, because I think sometimes people get so caught up in keeping up and treading water that they don't even stop to say, what have I done well? Yeah. So that's the outcome of my business is that I want people to really 
take time to get to know themselves. That's my outcome. Yeah, awesome, awesome. The the thing that I think um, Barbara Faison says, good stuff, Thesha. The the thing that I the thing that I heard in what you said, Thesha, is there there are a couple of things. You're clear on the outcome you want for your clients. That self awareness, that you know, emotional intelligence, that heightened awareness as it relates to their own emotions. You're clear that that's the outcome you want for your clients, and. The reality is that outcome is actually what drives your behavior in working with your clients. It drives the intentions that you set for how you serve your clients in a big way. And that's that's a lot of what I heard and what you said. The the other thing that you know I want to I want to point out is when you're looking at as an entrepreneur and you're looking at your business and you're thinking of what's the the desired outcome, what's the greatest outcome, the best outcome that I want in my business, you know, what you're looking at is not what's right in front of you. Mm. Like you're looking beyond what's right in front of you. It, it gives you an opportunity to envision something bigger and greater than what's right in front of you. A quick story, and I share this story in my book. I went to a coaching conference last year. I went to an ICF conference. It was the Midwest Conference in Indianapolis. And I, you know, I've been in business for more than 15 years and I've gone to a lot of live events, but that was my first official coaching event that I went to, a big coaching conference. And uh, one of the things that I did while I was there, I played around with Uber and Airbnb. I booked my Airbnb, which ended up being a very nice room in the townhouse of this very young couple. And they were just sweet as they could be. They wanted to feed me. They wanted to make sure I had everything I needed. And I was like, no, I just, you know, I just need the room. I'm just going to, you know, come and go. And it's really going to be okay. You don't have to take care of me. But they were just so gracious in how they supported me. And then the second thing I used was Uber. Mm -hmm. I used Uber quite a bit to get from my Airbnb to the hotel where the, the conference was going on. And my last Uber driver, I asked the same question almost of every driver. And that was, you know, how long have you been driving? Is this your side gig? What do you enjoy most? And what are you getting out of it? And so, you know, my last driver said, you know, he was driving Uber because he wanted to get a better job. And I said, okay, great. What better job are you going after? And the way he described it, I was clear that what he wanted was to become a certified nursing assistant or CNA. That's what he was working toward. And I asked him, okay, so what are you going to do after you get that CNA? And he told me, and I can't remember all of the things he told me, but between where he picked me up, where I was having dinner with some colleagues and taking me back to my Airbnb, by the time we got to my Airbnb, he had not only thought of becoming a CNA, but he had thought of after I become a CNA, I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to become a nurse. After I become a nurse, I'm going to become a nurse practitioner. After I become a nurse practitioner, I'm going to go back to school and I'm going to become a doctor. And he had never thought any of that was possible before we started our dialogue. And I kept saying, and then what? And what else are you going to do after that? And what are you going to do with that? And how are you going to use that to to grow your career? So what's the best possible outcome is that kind of expansive question that sort of says, look beyond where you are. And I love that best possible outcome kind of question because of what it also gives the person that's answering the question in the way of uh, possibilities. It empowers you to think of opportunities. It empowers you to see things that you might not readily see. I thought it was sort of cute at the end of our drive and we had gone that far. He said, so can you give me your card? Cause I wanna kind of stay in touch and let <laughs> you know how things go with me from here because I had never thought of that before. Yes, That's the beauty of looking at the best possible outcomes in any situation. Yeah, we talked about it. We're talking about it here in the context of entrepreneurs and thinking about your business. But, you know, it's something you can ask yourself in any given scenario, right? You can ask yourself, hey, um, what's the best possible outcome from this relationship? You talked, Thesha, about those two employees, that supervisor and employee that just could not seem to connect, 
But when you expose them to what was possible, all of a sudden they're hugging and they're saying, wow, how did we go this long without really connecting and sharing in this way? Best possible outcomes is such a huge question that when you begin to ask it, it opens the mind to just so much greater things. Exactly. Yeah, so, so many more greater things. Let me look in the comments to make sure if there are questions, be sure to share your questions and comments. Uh, I love that there are people popping on. I see um, Dorothy Ward has popped on. Be sure to share the video, share the video if you're just joining us. We're just here chatting, you know, about what's possible and looking at bigger outcomes for your business. The other thing I wanted to be sure that we touched on, Thesha, is what Play Bigger Now says in the same context of this question, right? This question is about looking at something greater, something bigger, something um, beyond where we currently are. And I know that you talked about your presentation for Play Bigger Now is all about looking at emotional intelligence. What most people I think don't know about emotional intelligence is when you have management and control over your emotions, you can deal with whatever happens. Yes crisis, tragedy, trauma, when you're in control of your emotions, you can deal with all of that. Yes, on a really big level, it's about communication and connecting with people. And, you know, you know, you know that, and I know that. It's also about uh, being able to position yourself to engage in whatever happens. I think it was Zig Ziglar who said that it's not what happens to us, it's how we respond that makes the difference. Yes. So emotional intelligence really gives you that opportunity to do that. So, you know, emotional intelligence is and leadership is a topic Thesha is going to be talking about. We have so many other really amazing presentations that will be part of Play Bigger Now 2017. I hope that you will join us for Play Bigger Now. I want to go through a little bit of a slide presentation so that I can tell you about Play Bigger Now and what we're going to be uh, doing as part of Play Bigger Now. I'm not gonna go through the whole presentation that I have, but I do wanna make sure you know what it's all about. So let me share my screen if I can get back to where I was. There I am, share my screen. Thank you guys so much for being here and for being part of this quick dialogue that I wanted us to do. Play Bigger Now is um, an income acceleration conference. In other words, it's really a sales and marketing conference. And you see Thesha among the really powerful presenters that will be part of Play Bigger Now. We also have from the main stage, Kristen Thompson, who's going to be talking about how to rock your stage. She's going to be helping you specifically to craft your talk in a way that extends the offer and engages people in spending money with you and investing in you and hiring them, hiring you to support them in their business. Bernadette Harris is gonna be talking about scalable systems. At Buy the Book Accounting, a 16 year old accounting, tax accounting and business strategy firm. She's been for more than 16 years, she's been teaching entrepreneurs how to start and run businesses the right way is the way she says it. And scalable systems means that if your business were to double or triple, having the right systems, the tools, the mindset, everything in place to be sure that you're ready for that. So she's gonna talk in great detail at Play Bigger Now about how to do that. And then we have uh, TJ Mercer, who is a reality TV coach. She has served in the entertainment industry as an editor, for a number of years and she's gonna be bringing it at Play Bigger Now to show you how to actually go about crafting your pitch, really looking at your media offer, understanding how media works. The thing that I want you guys to really understand about Play Bigger Now, it is a huge workshop that we're gonna be doing to support you. Yeah, you're gonna be motivated. Yeah, you're gonna be inspired. Yeah, you're gonna take action. But how about if you take action right then and there that supports you so when you walk away from Play Bigger Now 2017, you're ready to take your business to the next level of financial success. Your journey to your next level of financial success begins here. I wanna go through just a real quick overview, again, of Play Bigger Now. It's a sales and marketing conference. It's for you if you're an entrepreneurial leader, CEO, 
coach, speaker, trainer, consultant, emerging thought leader. You're going to get training on, on those topics I've already mentioned. And I also want to make sure you understand that it's Friday, October 20th, Saturday, October 21st, and Sunday, October 22nd. We've designed so many really cool opportunities for you as part of Play Bigger Now 2017, including the exclusive digital swag bag, which are masterclass recordings, audio recordings, assets to build your professional reference library. It's connecting you to a unique visibility opportunity. The swag bag alone is valued at more than 5,000. But there's a VIP experience I want to make sure you know about. Implementation sessions, daily interactive keynotes, the 15th anniversary award ceremony, the musical tribute and celebration soiree, the pajama jam, the gratitude breakfast. Your VIP experience is valued at more than $15,000. And your VIP guest ticket includes VIP lunches on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, a reception on Friday, more goodies in your exclusive digital swag bag than the regular guest because we have VIP goodies and planned surprises just for you. It's valued at more than $15,000. Your VIP ticket also includes two high-end coaching funnels provided by ClickFunnels, our sponsor, and a video production strategy session for you as a VIP guest provided by bizlinks.tv, our media partner. You're also going to get a sales activation Q&A session with me. That means you get to pick my brain and I get to share more insight for you about sales activation. Your VIP experience is valued at more than $15,000. So here's what I want you to know. There's some decisive action bonuses that you're going to get when you enroll as a VIP before Sunday, this coming Sunday, the 27th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern. You get to save $200 on your ticket. You get to bring a friend. And you and your friend both will be part of 90 days of More Coaching Client Sales and Marketing Academy. Live video training, live group coaching sessions, more than $10,000 in sales activation, marketing, and mindset training that you have access to for 90 days. Remember to use the coupon code GRATITUDE. Remember to use the coupon code GRATITUDE, and that will get you your VIP specials. I want to come back over here to where we're talking so that we can, um, I can see kind of who's on and what questions you have, and then we're going to jump off. Didn't want us to be here long, but I wanted to be sure that we had this expansive conversation about what's the best possible outcome. Janice Jordan, thank you so much for joining us. Remember to share the video, share the video, share the video. We've been talking about playbiggernow2017.com. And as part of Play Bigger Now 2017, we are going to be looking at how to elevate your business, how to up-level your business, how to upgrade your bottom line. I love that um, the, the event that I've collaborated with all of these powerhouse speakers to create is really about making sure you're getting some actionable content to grow your business, to grow your bottom line. You're gonna connect with so many exciting people that are part of Play Bigger Now. Many of the digital presenters will actually be on site to actually visit with you throughout the conference. Uh, Thesha is one of the digital presenters who will be on site who actually will have a booth so she can tell you more about her wares, books, programs, opportunities to stay connected with Thesha and so many others. Thesha, you have any closing thoughts before we jump off? I told you I didn't want to be here long. I just want to have the quick dialogue. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity to join you. And I am excited. <laughs> I am very excited. I'm excited to meet all the, the people who are going to be uh, presenting there. For me, it's a great opportunity to look at the best outcome for my business as it lends itself to talking about um, optimizing the ability to increase income. Uh, yeah. The sales part. I'm excited to be a part of this conference because it's going to help me to uh, work on sales strategy. Yeah. And so very excited. I'm looking at all the people saying, okay, I got to need to connect with this person, need to connect with that person. <laughs> so I look forward to everyone who's watching the Facebook Live. And I am just extremely excited. And thank you so much for extending the opportunity to be a part of this conference. Awesome. Can't wait to see everybody there. 
I know, I know. Every time I look at the lineup of people, including you, who have, you know, decided to be part of this adventure, I just get goosebumps because it, it kind of feels like pinch me. Is this really happening? Yes. Because everybody brings such a, a, a different level of skill and talent. And each and every person participating is a powerhouse presenter in their own right. So yeah. I'm just thrilled that, that you accepted the invitation, the call, if you will, to partner with me to be part of what we're going to be doing by pouring into the guest of Play Bigger Now 2017. I really, really am. Thank you so much, Thesha, for taking time out this evening to be here. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I see Nachi has just joined us. Be sure to share the video. Hey, Nachi. (laughs) Share the video. Share the video. Um, I'm Wendy Y. Bailey, your Income Acceleration Mentor, and I'm also your conference host for Play Bigger Now 2017. Thanks, everybody, so much for being here, and we hope to see you at playbiggernow2017.com. Take care, everybody. Good night. Good night.